नमाओं विष्णुपताय कृष्ण कृष्णाय भूतले श्रीमथे भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचार्य कृष्ण संबंध विज्ञान नमस्ते गौरवाणीमूर्तने सज्जनाप्रिया ग्रेटफुल for this, this opportunity, opportunity to be with all of you on this, this very, very special occasion. occasion. We, we are celebrating the appearance day of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, while, while he was living in Jagannath Puri, He was, he was observing, observing the supreme, supreme glory of the, the mission of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu, and how the, the mercy of Lord Chaitanya was, was the most critical need for the, the entire, entire world. world. And, and how little attention, attention the world was paying to, to the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And, and even in India, with, with the widespread, widespread propaganda, propaganda of Mayavad, Smartyism, Sahajyaism, the mission of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so much misunderstood. Bhakti Vinod Thakur, he, he had such a profound universal vision of spreading this moment. It, it was the vision of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda. And then in every town and every village throughout this world, the holy names of Krishna we chanted. And, and it was there in Puri that, that Bhakti Vinod Thakur prayed, prayed to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who was Radha Krishna. Please send one of your confidential empowered associates to help with this mission. And in the year, the year of 1874, 1874 in the, the holy place, place of Uri, his prayer was fulfilled. 
on, on this, this day, day when, when his, his son was born, he was, he was named, named Bimala Prasad, Prasad. And, and later Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada. Um, born, born in Jagannath Puri, the place, place of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's residence, the place, place where Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu spent most of the last 24 years of his pastimes, and the place where Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu departed from this mortal world, Jagannath Puri. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur took the mission and the message of Bhakti Vinod Thakur as his life and soul. And there is much that has been described by very esteemed speakers who have already um, made their offerings today. But Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur in his closing instructions to Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati, was to take the message of Lord Chaitanya to the whole world and to develop my work. <laughs> These were two of his very, very special instructions. Um, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was born in Mayapur. And he spent, he spent his last years in Puri. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur was born in Puri and then came to Mayapur <laughs> to fulfill the mission of his father. Um, there in Mayapur for many years, as has been described, he vowed to chant a billion names of Krishna and Sri Radha. And for many years, he chanted day and night. His inspiration to develop Mayapur and to spread the message of Lord Chaitanya throughout the world, he came to Calcutta. <laughs> this was in 1980. And at that time, there was only a few followers. They really didn't have much money. They didn't have hardly any influence. But they rented a building. The historic one Ultadunga Junction. And in 1918, when Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur Prabhupada moved into this building, with a, a few of his followers. followers. He named it the Bhakti Vinod Asana, the sitting place of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, the, the place where he would fulfill the vision of Thakur Bhakti Vinod, which was the pure vision of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda, and then six Goswamis. While, While there, he developed, developed preaching. In, in that, that little rented building, building he, he established, established a printing press. He, he called, called it the Brihat Murdaga. The Big Murdaga. <laughs> He, he proclaimed, proclaimed that Sankirtan can be heard for a couple blocks around, and of course the vibration spreads throughout the universe. 
so that the chanting of the holy names, so that the dog is. But, but through, through publishing books, books the glorification of the holy names and glories and teachings of the Lord can spread throughout the entire world. There at Ultadunga Junction Road was the printing press. There was a daily newspaper. There was weekly newspapers, monthly newspapers. <laughs> Um, there, there was, was regular, regular Harinam Sankirtan, and, and there, there was, was so much preaching. Preaching, preaching to, to the educated, educated. Preaching, preaching to the villagers, to everyone. And as His, His Holiness Srila Bodhayan Maharaj so beautifully, so beautifully explained, we're so, so grateful, grateful you're here, here Maharaj, from this event. event. He, he explained, explained how most of the primary leaders of Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Prabhupada's followers, they, they first met him and joined, joined the mission at Ultadunga Junction. A couple, a couple years, years later, later, after 1918, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur Prabhupada named it the Gaudiyamath. That building became the Gaudiyamath, and from then, all the extensions and expansions of all the projects were also as Gaudiyamath. It, it was, was from Ultadangi Junction Road that Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur Prabhupada not only established 64 months in India, but with his bold vision, he sent devotees to London, to Germany, to Burma, he had this vision that Lord Chaitanya's vision spread throughout the world. As has been explained by so many of our revered speakers, 1922 was the year Srila Prabhupada our, our beloved A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada first met his guru on the rooftop of this place. I am just seeing the photos and the videos that, that, that Radharaman Prabhu and Anagamohan Prabhu are sending around. <laughs> it's so special. First, First, we, we see, see the front, front of the building, and then, then we, we enter the door, door and we go, go up the steps to the rooftop. When, when, we, we, when, when we enter upon the rooftop, the rooftop on the left side, was the, the residence of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada. He, he lived in that kuchir on the rooftop. For 12 years. And, and on the rooftop, rooftop itself, he would, would have his public meetings and give lectures. lectures. As, As has been, been so beautifully described, described on a historic, historic day in 1922, 1922 100 years ago from now, Srila Prabhupada was walking down, down that same lane. <laughs> Utadangi <Uttadangi> Junction Road, <laughs> <laughs> along with his friend Narendra Malak. Uh, recently, I was listening to a recording of Srila Prabhupada. There are so many times when he describes his coming to this building and meeting school. Dozens and dozens and dozens, perhaps hundreds of times, in recording Srila Prabhupada. 
and, and how on that little lane his, his friend pulled him to meet this, this great sound. And now, now we can go, go to, to Calcutta and in a very special meditative and intimate way, we, we could literally be following in Srila Prabhupada's footsteps. <laughs> Walking down the lane of Ultadangi, entering into the entrance of the, the Bhakti Vinoda And our, our devotees, they, they with, with so much love, devotion, and sacrifice, um, our, our beloved Sundar Gopal Prabhu, and Ananda Mohan Prabhu, and others, and Radharaman Prabhu, Dairam Prabhu, they did research. Um, to, to get, get original, original photos, photos whatever, whatever are existing, and, and descriptions, and, and various letters, letters and histories of that place. And, and they, they even um, commissioned a special architectural builders who restore things to the, to the standards, standards that, that are, are identical, identical from, from ancient, ancient times and, and years ago. They, they really left, left no stone unturned to, to try to make this, this offering to, to all the Vaishnavas throughout the world, as far as possible, a replica, a replica of what, what it was in 1922. So, so yes, today, today we can follow Srila Prabhupada's footsteps and then walk through the entrance and look to the left and look to the right, to a little courtyard and then where the deities were installed in a small temple room and the rooms where the, where the, where the sannyasis and brahmacharis were living their Maharaj. And Shri Shri the Prabhupada, was, who, along, along with his friends, were welcomed when they came in the door. And um, just, just as, as when we come, come hopefully we will also be welcomed. Be welcomed. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then Shri the Prabhupada walked, walked up those same steps that we will walk up and, and onto the rooftop. And there, there he saw Shubhakti Siddhanta Sarasun Thakur Prabhupada sitting, speaking Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's life teachings. They approached Sri Prabhupada bowed down along with Narendra. And that is where the, the great prophecy of the, the words of Srila Sarasati Prabhupada entered into Srila Prabhupada's heart. You are an educated young man. Why don't you bring the message of the Lord Chaitanya to the whole world in the English language? Those words entered so deeply into our beloved Sri Prabhupada's heart. And he had such a beautiful discussion that he would love to describe throughout Sri Prabhupada's transcendental pastimes of his life, he loved to describe this discussion with his Guru Maharaj. 
At, At this, this particular, particular time, we are under the subjugation of the British. Let, Let us get, get independence. Then the, the rest of the world will take, take the message of India serious. And Dina Bandhu Prabhu described so beautifully <laughs> how Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur had such a sense of urgency. That the political, political powers, powers nationalistic, nationalistic um, political, political arrangements, arrangements throughout the history of the world, of the world they're always changing. changing. But, but the, the one eternal, eternal truth is, is that, that we, we are not these bodies. We are, we are the eternal, eternal souls. We are, we are all eternally servants, part, part and parcel. parcel. Krishna. Birth, old age, disease, and death are coming for everyone. The, the crucial need that is forever within this world is to awaken Krishna consciousness. The only real problem in this world is we have forgotten our Krishna consciousness. And the, and the only, only real solution, solution is awakening it. It, it must, must be done, done now. Srila Prabhupada would love, love to say that, that I was defeated, defeated by my Guru Maharaj. Srila Prabhupada shared with us, it, it was at, at that moment, a hundred years ago, in 1922, 1922, on that rooftop, at the Dungi Junction Road, where so, so many of our devotees are assembled today, where Sri Prabhupada, he said, I accepted him as my spiritual master. At that moment, And he accepted that instruction as his life mission. At the time, Srila Prabhupada, he was 25 years old. He was recently married. He had a son. He was working for the Bosch Laboratories. He had a, a job. job. Everything was um, filled with responsibilities. But he oriented his whole life to eventually fulfill that instruction. And, and it was there at Uttadangi Dikshan Rao that Srila Prabhupada would Made, made so many, many friends, friends among his beloved, beloved God brothers. And, and over the years would preach with them. Um, on, on several occasions, he met his Guru Maharaj again, Radha Kund, at the Prayag, where he was initiated. And, and in Mumbai, he wrote, he wrote his last, last letter, letter to Sri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada. How, How can I serve you? And, and just approximately two weeks before the, the departure of Sri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada in this world, he, he, he wrote, wrote back to Sri Prabhupada. The, the same instruction, instruction that was given, given almost 15 years before on the roof of the Tavil to the Mount Junction, Junction Road. Take, Take the message of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and spread it in English language all over the world.
It's, it's so, so special. special. This, this neighborhood, neighborhood of Calcutta. Within, within just a few minutes, minutes Ishula Prabhupada's birthplace, which just this year has begun to develop as, as part of the sky. It's the, the place where, where Srila Prabhupada, Prabhupada first met his Guru, Guru Maharaj and, and where he received the seed for his life, life mission. It's, it's also, also the place where Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, just a few minutes from Ultradongi at Bag Bazaar, where Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada chose to, to depart, depart from this world. And, and not far away is the place where Bhakti Vinod Thakur did his bhajan and then where he departed from this world. Um, the, the heritage, the flow stream of mercy of these, of these most beloved acharyas of our Guru Parampara are all in this little area of Calcutta. <laughs> and also the first temple, Sri the well, let us say, it is from Calcutta that Sri the Prabhupada boarded the Chaltitude. From his own birthplace, from the place he received the instruction in Calcutta, boarded that cargo ship for New York City, where he established his gun in 26 and And when Srila Prabhupada returned to India with a group of devotees, the first temple he established was on Albert Road in Calcutta. And he installed, installed the deities of Sri Govinda, the same, same names of, of the deities that he worshipped, worshipped when he was a child, child in Calcutta. We are overwhelmed with gratitude. It, it was that the causeless mercy, that the prayers, the, the sacrifice of all of these great souls we are discussing today, that it is our only qualification. Whatever we have spiritually, Whatever, whatever may, we, we may have done, done whoever we are, whatever, whatever hopes and plans we have for the future, it, it is all completely dependent on the mercy we have received. Our, Our beloved Srila Prabhupada, when, when he, he was, was in Vrindavan at Sri Shri Shirata Damodar Temple, preparing himself, planning himself to, to fulfill the order of his guru, he was reading from the Shrinath Chakravarti Tower's um, commentary of the Bhagavad Gita. The particular, the particular verse, Vyavashaya Bhutir that one must, that, that one who is on this path is resolute, resolute in purpose, purpose and their aim is one. And in the commentary, it is stated this means, this one, means must one must make, make the order, order of the spiritual, of the spiritual master, master life's life and soul. soul. 
that instruction Sri Prabhupada, Prabhupada received on the rooftop of both the Dangi Junction Road, Sri Prabhupada gave it his life and his soul. With no, no money, with absolutely, absolutely no support, and no, no one to help him, 43 years later after he received that instruction, he boarded that cargo ship to Chattanooga. It was, it was impossible. impossible. It was inconceivable. And our beloved Srila Prabhupada, as our founder, Acharya, teaching by his instruction, so many times, with his limitless humility, and love and gratitude. Our Sri Prabhupada would say that, that my only qualification is I'm trying, trying to carry out, out the order of my spiritual master. And At other times he would say, my only qualification is I'm simply repeating the words of my Guru Maharaj. Although it's sometimes tears of love, he would say to his disciples, I see that you are all the representatives of my Guru Maharaj to help me carry out his mission. When we study Srila Prabhupada's recordings, the most regular lectures he would give were on the appearance days and disappearance days of Sri Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur Prabhupada. How much he wanted to impress upon us his love and his surrender to his Guru Maharaj. And, and following in his footsteps, in our, in our own little small ways, to, to our greatest capacity possible, possible to follow in his footsteps by, by making our beloved Srila Prabhupada's instructions and, and his mission, our life, and his soul. When, when we study Bhakti Vinod Thakur's instruction to Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati, spread the holy name, spread Lord Chaitanya's teachings to the whole and develop my And Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur gave such emphasis to Sri Prabhupada to print and distribute books. Sri Prabhupada's instructions to, our, to all of us are identical. <laughs> Amrish Prabhu was um, here, he's Sri Prabhupada gave him and every single one of us for all generations of the scum the responsibility to develop Mayapur with the vision of the Temple of Veda Devanatarium. And it's happening with the with, with the inspiration, inspiration of Aishesha Prabhu, Gopal Krishna Goswami Maharaj, Jai Patak Swami Maharaj, and so many other great Vaishnavas, Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj, we so much wish could be here with us today. We know he's smiling upon us. 
Calcutta is his birthplace. <laughs> and he put so much of his heart and soul. And he was so grateful, so happy, and so enlivened that Old Tadangi Junction Road and Prabhupada's birthplace were being realized. But, but through all, all of these great souls, souls book distribution is ever increasing. Temples, ashrams, devotees. There are so many projects. And human nature is the more things expand, the more a spiritual project is successful, empowered, and spreads. The more um, personal opinions will naturally arise. Should the Prabhupada lead it with us? Because at Wiltadangi Junction Road, everything was so united. And Sri Prabhupada would quote in Lokanath Maharaj, and others have cited um, how Sri Prabhupada so much imbibed from his Guru Maharaj how much he wanted the unity to be preserved, preserved for strength of the movement. So, so it is very important for us that we have this historic place where the Gaudiya Mahatma began, where Srila Prabhupada's ISKCON movement, the seed began. Were the two most empowered, glorious descendants of the spiritual world, the two Prabhupada's first met. <laughs> we owe our lives to this meeting. Whoever we are, whatever we've done, we should feel totally humbled and dependent on the mercy of our Srila Prabhupada and the instruction we received from Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati And I, I'm hoping, whether it's virtually or in our meditations or whenever possible, physically, to now visit what is for the first time accessible to us. One old to Dunga Junction Road, the Bhakti Vinodasana. Where we could sit on that rooftop. And whatever our thoughts, whatever our opinions, whatever our plans, whatever our goals, whatever our struggles, we put it in the context of Sri Prabhupada's receiving his instruction, his life and soul from his Guru Maharaj. Sri Prabhupada lived to fulfill that instruction. Every, Every decision, decision he made in his life was for the purpose of fulfillment of that instruction. This, this is a legacy. This is the gift Sri Prabhupada has given us. This is this our own soul. soul. To, to remember the simplicity, simplicity, the purity in which, which that, that instruction, instruction was given, given and received. Peace.
people talk about going back to our roots. Um, if, if the roots of a tree are healthy, then the tree is healthy. If the whole tree looks really nice, but the roots are not healthy, then the tree is not sustainable. Yes, our roots are in Mayapur. Where Sri Chaitanya and Nityananda Prabhu established the Sankirtan. And our roots are in Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada's establishing the Gaudiya, Gaudiya Mat to fulfill, to fulfill Bhakti on all topics. And our roots are roots so, are so much on the top, top on and all to the Gaudiya Junction, junction Road. Where Shri Prabhupada has given his life's mission. And Shri Prabhupada, on one disappearance day of Bhakti Siddhanta Satsang Prabhupada, he pleaded with every one of us. He said, I am, I am old. I may leave at any moment physically. He thanked us and pleaded with us to carry on the mission of his Guru Maharaj. Today, this wonderful inauguration on the appearance day of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasutta, on the 100th anniversary of Prabhupada receiving instruction here. Let it be an opportunity to, to, for each and every one of us individually and collectively as a movement to, to refocus our priorities. To give him pleasure to show Prabhupada in this way. Let, let us on this day, worship this whole place by offering our deepest gratitude to what we have received and by reciprocating, by expressing our love. By assisting the Prabhupada in carrying out the order of his Guru Maharaj, of spreading the holy names of Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. When Sri the Prabhupada glorified his Guru Maharaj, Saraswati Prabhupada, absolute is, is sentient thou hast proved, impersonal calamity thou hast removed. By spreading the, the personal realization of Krishna as the supreme personality of Godhead. And by spreading the true essence of love of God through the chanting of the holy names. I, I am so deeply grateful to the devotees in Calcutta who have practically for a full year been in America 24 hours a day to, to complete, complete this, this project, project as, as an offering to Sri Bhakti Siddhanta Sassi Prabhupada on his appearance today. today. Dairam Prabhu, Ananga Mohan Prabhu, Radha Ramana Prabhu, Chaitanya Bhagavad Prabhu, Sunar Gopal Prabhu, Acharya Radha Prabhu, 
Um, um, and, and, and so many more. more. Please, Please forgive, forgive me because it's hard to say any name knowing that we're, we're not saying so many others, others but you all know in your, your hearts these, these devotees, devotees have given their lives because they believe so strongly. How this project at Bolta Junction Road could infuse and ignite the devotees of this God, of the Pagodia lineage. on what, what is really and truly, truly sacred in our lives. Yes, yes he decided, Bhagavad Prasad, yes, he decided, Nagati Kukti, to please our beloved spiritual masters. Thank, Thank you to, to all the devotees in Kalpata. Thank, Thank you for all devotees throughout the world. For giving, giving your hearts and your lives to a position of God in what is his life and soul. Thank you very much. Um, Ananga Mohan Prabhu, um, I just want to thank you. I miss you so much. I miss you so much. I could be there, but I wish, wish and pray that, that I will be there soon, especially um, one, one of my great dreams is sitting on that rooftop, honoring the wonderful prasad that you cook. <laughs> um, I believe there are that many are the exact recipes of Sachi Mata would, and Raghava Pandit and Damianti would cook for Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Um, and um, in, 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 in the, the honor, honor of His, His Holiness Tamal Krishna Goswami Maharaj, we, we can be together. Um, I actually, I'm, I'm, I'm wishing in my talk, talk I, I, I should, should have spoken, spoken about, about him somehow. I planned to, but it's just, I'm, I, 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 I beg forgiveness. forgiveness. But, you know, so, so much of, 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 of that project is due to the mercy and blessings of Tamal Krishna Goswami Maharaj. And, and actually, in, in, in my last talk, talk with him, him it, it was his desire that an, an educational institution be established in Calcutta. And, and after his graduation from Cambridge, he planned to actually base himself in Calcutta to, to be with all of you. <laughs> and that's another very, very, very special, intimate feature of Calcutta. I, I wish I would have spoken during my talk. Somehow, somehow I'm spaced out. out. Um, but but as, thank, thank you very much. much. As, as far as the kirtan, kirtan I, I sincerely feel that somebody there should lead the kirtan because, because um, you, you know, they, they could be in sync with the cartels in Murdung and it will be much better. And, and, and I'll attend, but, but um, it, it will be better if somebody who's there on the rooftop leads the kirtan. kirtan. 